I wanted to show you how to change your spark plug in a small engine. This is Buck WSR Weezer coming at you. It's really very simple. This is a 5 horsepower Briggs and Stratton engine. It's part of a lawn and leaf shredder. But this will be the same on lots of different small engines. It's a single cylinder so it just has a single spark plug. We remove the wire and uh, use this spark plug spark plug uh, socket this is a 13 16 inch spark plug socket to remove it was just running this engine so it's a little bit hot but I think I can do it spark plug isn't bad because the engine was just running but I want to uh, put in a new one I'm just doing some maintenance on this so there's the old one. There's a new Briggs and Stratton spark plug. And before you put it in, you want to check the gap. That's the space between the the curved metal tip and then the center post tip on that spark plug. And uh, the recommended space is 0 .030 inches. A spark plug uh, gapping tool right here. So this wire, 0.030, is the one that represents what we're trying to do. Now this is a little tough to do since I'm holding the phone in one hand. But that that size wire, this is just one basic type of feeler gauge. There's other, other kinds. But that's that should fit in between there. Kind of snugly, but it should still fit, and it does. So I know that was probably hard to watch. So I was trying to do it with one hand. But if it's not quite right, if it's open too much or too small, you can use this uh, end of the tool to to open that a little bit more. You would kind of stick it in here and bend it open or bend it closed. Again, I know that's not real easy to see. But 0 .030 is the spark plug gap that we need for this and really most small engines. See how that one's all charred up and corroded. So it, this new one's going to make everybody happier. So we screw it down. And then we, uh, we'll tighten it down a little bit with the, uh, the ratchet. Doesn't have to be a lot just kind of snug. You don't want to over tighten it. You'll risk breaking it. And then the spark plug wire goes back on. You dispose of your old one and you're good to go. Thank you for watching.